Hi everyone, I'm Wes from Porsche Center Downtown Toronto and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to set the date and time. You'll remember our previous video we looked at how to set the date and time in the latest model of the 911, the 992. In this video we'll be looking at the previous generation of 911 known as the 991. Why don't we hop in and take a look. Setting the time and date in this generation of 911 is just as easy as it was as you saw in our previous video. I'll show you just how easy that is now. If the center console and instrument cluster setup in your Porsche looks similar to this one, you'll want to turn your attention to this gauge here on the instrument cluster. We're going to use the scroll wheel on the right hand side of the steering wheel to scroll through the different pages on this display. Scroll until you find the vehicle page and click the scroll wheel inwards. Once we're at this next page, we're going to want to scroll down to settings at the bottom and click the wheel again. Now we can access the date and time menu, second from the top, and here we are. From here, we can manually change the date and time. Starting with the time, simply click the scroll wheel twice and then use the scroll wheel to scroll up or down to set the hours, the minutes, and then when you're finished, click this back arrow next to the wheel to return to the previous screen. You can also change the format of the time between 12 and 24 hour clocks. Setting the date is just as simple. Click the scroll wheel, scroll to change the day, the month, the year, and then click the back button when you're finished to return to the previous screen. You can also change the format to your desire. Now, if your vehicle has the optional navigation, you can use the automatic time setting. If you check this box, you'll notice manual options for setting the date and time are no longer available because the vehicle will be using the GPS signal from the navigation to set the date and time automatically. You'll simply have to drive out in the open for a few minutes and allow the GPS to acquire the satellite signal. This may take several minutes, so drive along as you would normally, and then check the date and time again when it's safe to do so. There's one last feature that pertains to date and time for those of you who have the chronometer. To change your chronometer to a clock, turn your attention back here to the date and time page in the cluster and scroll down to the bottom where you'll see time-chrono. If you check this box with the wheel, the chronometer will change from a timer to a clock. And that's all there is to setting the date and time in your 911. If you have any questions about what I've shown you here today, feel free to call us at Porsche Center Downtown Toronto.